What is up guys? We have two special candidates and this one is unfortunately been underwater. I have myself a donor truck and I'm gonna take some things out of here and put it back into there. And I just wanna show you guys, or talk about it, tell you what I'm doing and uh, hopefully this isn't gonna happen to you. All right, let's go. What is up everybody? Thanks so much for coming back, checking us out. Again, we, we're at a different location and we're doing 6.0 stuff today. This is an 05 uh, F350, obviously you can tell DRW, um, but this was in a flood. Last Labor Day, the water was up to here. You can check and visualize really sucks i hate to see a vehicle like that man let's look underneath the hood here it is oh my gosh it just pains me to see it i mean i don't know how this ran before i think it ran all right uh, according to rich but uh this is very unfortunate out of his control something that some of us have to go through but like I said, Rich, if you don't know, this is Limitless Auto Works. You guys have seen the Yellow Beast on my live stream. We are in here. I have, I don't know if you guys can see it. I got my duty in there. We're getting dutied up. Um, but I'm out here giving him a hand to do some 6 stuff while he's in here doing some work. So what we got going on, we're going to be taking some things off of this truck. This is a donor truck, a 2006 that he just purchased. And we are going to be replacing the dash with this. This one is in working condition. The truck, the engine just doesn't start. It has a Bill Hewitt skip and is building no icp it just keeps cranking and cranking and cranking and is building zero here's what it looks like under the hood here looks a little better than the other one but it is too got some issues oil and whatnot all over the place yeah so for what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to salvage everything that I can out. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull the dash out of here. This has been a first uh, for me. I've never replaced, I haven't removed a dash from an old grill before, but we have some connections up here. Looks like we got some eights, some eights, three of them across. We got our normal two bolts here. Normal bolt down here, our two bolts. Uh, on the driver's side, there's there's two here uh, as well. And then some electrical connectors and whatnot. And then we'll be able to at least pull the dash back and possibly put everything here on the seat. We will have to disconnect the steering column, uh, which is no big deal. Uh, although you are going to, excuse me, you're going to want to make sure the steering wheel isn't going to turn. So if you guys have seen my dash removal on a, an 11 through 16, you guys can get zip ties and zip tie the steering wheel to the shifter stock or the turn signal uh, just to, you know, keep the wheel from from spinning because you don't want the clock spring uh, to wind up you know spinning on you and getting obviously messed up because that's gonna cost you a clock spring and then you're gonna have airbag light and if you have buttons you're not gonna be able to control the buttons so don't do that it's gonna be different when you pull this dash outside I haven't done one uh, outside the shop before but I'm gonna start plugging away and see how far I can get on um, oh pulling this nasty out all right i've already spent maybe 20 25 minutes out here um this is how it sits i got the steering wheel zip tied the dash is actually sitting on the 4x4 shifter so that kind of worked out and i just realized i had a couple of 
connectors here on the A pillar. I didn't uh, realize, but I'm just kind of working around. Haven't touched this one yet. Got the little toolbox. I don't know if I've forgotten anything over here, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty loose. Um, it's really just sitting on the steering wheel and like I said, the uh, the 4x4 shifter. So, I've got everything pretty much disconnected. I think I'm, I think I'm good over here on the driver's side. It's really the passenger side that I'm worried about because I don't know if I have everything disconnected. I just got, uh, I just got uh, a couple connectors. But I got Rich out here now. So now he's gonna hold help on, me. Hold on, let me close the, put the hood on so I don't look like such an ugly bastard. Hey, now he's gonna help me take the dash out. <laughs> All right, so let's get this out and maybe we'll get it on the ground and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, she's out, fully removed. It sucked, you had to take a harness through the firewall out. That's what stopped me. I didn't think I would have had to pull that all the way through, but I did. Got it out. I'm gonna have to take this out, but we're gonna save that for another day because it just started raining and I'm not gonna work out in the rain. But here's the dash and that needs to be transplanted. Let me know if you guys have ever transplanted a dash. And what do you think about the new uh, content? This isn't at the shop, this isn't something that I'm used to, and uh, frankly, I don't know, it's kind of cool being somewhere other than what I'm used to. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I appreciate you guys always for checking us out. And remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you.